Hey guys, my name is Brian uh, here at Niagara Zoo, Reptile Keeper. Today we're going to be reading The Little Skink's Tale to all of our desert lizards today. So here we go. Little Skink basks on a big yellow rock in the rays of the morning sun. Her chilly body soon turned snugly warm. She twitched her bright blue tail. The little lizard was ready to start her day. Leaping to the forest floor, she poked at her pointing nose into the crack of a rotting log and sniffed for her breakfast. Sniff, sniff. She smelled ants. She loved ants. Gobble, gobble, gobble. She gulped down one ant and then another. Her tummy was almost full when she felt a peck at her tail and it was a large hungry crow. Little Skink was trapped and there was no way to run, but she had a trick. Quicker than the crow could blink, the little skink snapped off her blank, bright blue tail. Wiggle, 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 went the tail, wiggling wildly through the fallen leaves. The, for the crow forgot about the little skink. It wanted the wiggling, waggling tail. As the crow bounced its way, and that little skink skittered under a log, and she was safe. Her wiggling, waggling tail had saved her. The next morning, as a little skink basked on a rock, she felt a little sad. She missed her bright blue tail, even though she was happy to be alive. As she lay basking, on a, in, basking and thinking, a cottontail rabbit hopped in front of her rock. Hmm, I wonder how I look with a tail like that, the little skink thought. She pictured her new look, very cute. She thought of herself, but too fluffy. Next, she tried a squirrel's tail. It's fun to flick and, flick and fluff, she said, but much too bushy. Day after day, the little skink imagined herself wearing the tail of every animal she met. A deer's tail, look, I can wave it like a little flag, she said, but it's too short and stubby. A skunk's tail, P.U., said the little skink. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Porcupine's tail, too stinky, oh, it's too prickly, she said. An owl's tail, a lizard with feathers, she exclaimed. I don't think so. A turtle's tail, it's too pointy, said the little skink. While all the fine, all were fine tails, not one was quite right for her. Then one day she scampered onto the stunning rock, her shadow caught an eye. Her shadow had a tail. She whipped around and sure enough, her tail had grown back. A skink needs a skink's tail, she said, and her tail dreaming days were over. That's the end, guys. Thanks for viewing us. Uh, we hope to see you soon. We uh, were reading to our blue tail skink, which is sitting behind the agama with the black head. Um, these guys, that is about four grown, full grown is about five inches. These guys eat any kind of insects such as super worms, mealworms, crickets, wax worms, which they get fed on a rotation daily. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye.